There's been a slight change of plans. I know I've said I was doing a top 100 games of all time series, but I've decided to move that back sort of to the end of the year, largely because I don't really have anything to fill the not poop and poop game awards. Like, there's not anything, really, so I might just be doing that instead of it. Not sure yet, but what I'm going to do for now is Prison Architect. I love Prison Architect, and I've not done enough on it. Uh, right, here comes our first uh, truck things. This is my land area. I'll show you how I set the map up. Let's actually uh, create a new prison. Uh, this is the uh, warden that I chose. He's called the Pacifier. He has uh, an unusual talent for being able to calm even the most violent individuals. Basically, he's going to keep the prison a bit calmer. I, I tend to have a lot of riots and stuff, so I'm going to just keep him... Just that He might keep things a bit calmer. I've not actually played, like, the final release version, which is what this one is, I don't think. Like, I've played a little bit, but I've not played a lot, so there'll be some things that I won't know how they work, which is nice. So it's a game that I know the basics of, but they've built a few things on top of it that I don't know. Uh, I've done a large prison. Uh, Fog of War I've kept on, so I, I can only see things that my guards on my CCTV can see. I don't normally play with that on, I just added that for a bit of extra challenge. Turn forests off because they just annoy me. Lakes is experimental and I leave well alone, and generating buildings is just things you destroy normally. Uh, I put failure conditions on. Now, failure conditions mean if I cock up too much, I'm going to be taken to my own prison, which is just a nice ending for the series if I bugger it up that way. I, this series will be complete when I'm done, and I'm like, all right, I built a nice prison there. That's what will end this. Uh, gangs I've got off because it says extra challenge, and I've already added one extra challenge there. Uh, events I have kept off because I don't know what they are. It just says extra challenge. I've turned weather and temperature on for the version that's uh, running in the background. Uh... Now, I don't know what the temperature does, but it sounds interesting, and I quite like weather effects, so that's odd. Unlimited funds is off, and enable tools and cheats is off, and that's how I've set this one up. So, uh, let's get started. Now, every single video I've ever done on this, you'll notice that I have the same setup, and I like to basically have... Oh, I'm going to use the planning tools a lot for this, because uh, I've got really into using the planning tools. I like to have basically two building-y things there, and then brick it off here, and then just start gluing prison-y bits on everywhere, and just be like, PRISON! Now, I'm not doing that this time. Well, I'm doing a bit of that, because I like to have... I, I think, right, I like to have a good, solid entranceway. So I like to have... Well, that's three, isn't it? Ah, I like to have a good, solid entranceway like this. So there, the, these represent doors for now. So we have doors and doors. So there's two big doors for uh, that are completely locked at all times. And then we have a patrol of a guard here. So anybody who wants to go on this side or this side, he's just running back and forth all day. Maybe even like two patrols. Uh, just running back and forth all day. And they'll be just opening those doors up. Sometimes maybe I build an extra wall out here, but I've decided against that this time. I'm going to just go for a bit more clever placement of things. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to increase the size of my delivery room. That's vitally important for me. Whereas, there's something's missing from here. Like, there's no infirmary or anything. I assume you just unlock that as you go now, but I don't remember that being a thing. Delivery room's going to be a little bit bigger, so now I can start building my foundations, which I'll do through planning first. So, we're going to have a building here and a building here. Now, I like to have the offices here. Uh, so, we need one, two, three for an office. Where's the offices? We'll have a check. Office. Four by four. Good. Well planned me. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then boom. And then, so that goes down there like that. And then one, two, three, four, line over there. And then uh, cross there like that. And that. See, this is where I'm going to change things up. Normally, I would just go one, two, three, four, and I'd have them offices here. I like having the offices just by the entrance. Because if there's ever a right or anything, that means all the admin people are going to escape. And they're not fighters or anything. They can just go away and run away. But maybe, maybe, maybe I want to change it up a little bit. See, what I would like to do... Thinking about it. What if I have a corridor in this area here so I can use it as more of an end bit? See, what I really want to do is I always build my prisons all very claustrophobic and tied together and building, 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 building. I'd kind of like to have just, you know, a big wall around the outside and then lots of little buildings everywhere. I mean, I think it's best to build sort of chunks of prisons and this sort of thing. But I'd like to have more of that sort of thing, you know. I'd like to have, you know, chunk, chunk, chunk. I think that works better. I think it looks better as well. So we're going to go for that sort of style. But I do want to have this sort of nice, uh, solid entrance. I don't know what that's going to be. Oh, that could be two rooms. Think about that later. So I don't know how, I can't remember how many offices we need. I think it's sort of like three or four, really. One, two, three, four. So a line across there. Ooh, absolutely perfect. Good, 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 good. And I slightly bugged up the ending there. Whoops. So... 
That's what I'm thinking. If we have a corridor here and then the doors on each side, then everyone can get to their office nice and easy. And then we could have something at the bottom. Now, normally I would have, like, the visitation room here. Or something like the visitation room. But I've had another idea. What happens if, instead of having the visitation room there, we actually make it a, a wee bit bigger. Over like that. And like that. And split it like this. And then using objects as doors... And have one there, and have one there, and have one there, and then little door, little door, little door. I don't know why I always put them at the bottom, I just think it looks neater. I always build from the bottom up, because it's top down, the camera faces that way. Um, what we could have here, actually, probably just another section of wall there, is this bit could be the morgue. Now, prisoners could come in this side. This bit, I actually suppose, would be best if it was a wall, because we don't need that to be anything else. Uh... Prisoners could come in this side if they want to get into this, which will become the infirmary. I'm going to put an eye down there. Remind myself. Right, so that's, that's, wonk, that's too wonky. I can't. That's a plan, but I can't let go how wonky that absolutely was. Oh my god, I'm terrible at video games. There we go. So that's the infirmary, and that's the morgue, which I represent with this M. Close enough. And these will be offices, so O. Oh, that just looks like a thing. Okay, I'll just remember. Screw it. Letters are unimportant. So this will be the infirmary. So if one of you dies, we just transfer them to the morgue, and then they could be shipped through the prison without causing issues. Uh, also, of course, if there's any rights or anything, then this gives a nice safe pathway for all of the office workers and the nursing staff. With no, I mean, the only time there'll be prisoners here is if they're going into this, which will be the holding... Do we want it to be the holding cell? Because I want the visitation room closed, so again, visitors don't have to go very far at all. So actually, if we make this the visitation room here... So this is the visitation room. Ooh, actually, it's because this is quite long because I've got that corridor in it now. Let's have a visitation room along there. What's the visitation room need? Visitor table, visitor booth. So I'm assuming we have those as objects. Ooh, visitor booths now. That's nice. I don't know the size of them. Oh, there's radiators. They're new as well. That's fun. With I don't have the... Uh, I don't think we can do visitation quite yet, so I won't be able to see the size of it. But we could have this as... Like a visitation, like have the visitation -y booth going across there, and then have this as a holding cell. That could work. That could work super nice. And then you've got. Actually, I think what that would have to be is sort of like that. And then if this is a holding cell, or maybe we could make a pathway up here for them to come in. And then so keep that as a holding cell. And then we we'll just make it maybe. A, do we want it to be a little bit smaller? Is this too big for the visitation thing? Because you know it's in TV. You have all the the people sit down this side. And then the people sit down that side and they chat across the thing. Although sometimes there's table-based stuff as well. Maybe we have that along the top and then... I don't know. I kind of want to make that as big as possible. But I also want the holding cell. I also think having a little corridor here to connect to it is a good idea. So we have... And I, I like to have the double doors everywhere. So if we have... Uh, prisoner access to the holding cell needs to be down here. Let's not put them on the edges anymore. Let's actually... Oh, that, that's probably best if he's on the edge now, because I just don't know how they, uh, how that goes down. But let's try and not keep them on the edges. Um, I just think... I think it's neater if we don't. It's neater if we don't, so I'm gonna try my hardest to not do... I bet I do that through the entire prison from this moment on. But you know what? We'll give it our best. So this will be our holding cells, and then once you're done with that, we take you in here. So this will become more of the bulk of the prison. Up here, if you've got a visitation thing, we give you that thing there. So prisoners could come in, and then if there, for instance, is this line across here of where they sit down, and then people sit this side, then that would be good. Now, what if there are people who want to visit and sit down face-to-face, -face, which is how it used to do? Maybe if I build a visitation, we unlock the visitor booth. We don't have any buildings yet. Visitor table, visitor booth. Well, if it's visitor table, we can still do it that way without them having to go through the holding cell and the new people because we'll never know who's there. And it's still two doors locked away. I like everybody to be two doors locked away between them and the exit because so they don't just make a bolt for it. We'll never have this door locked open. Also, the closed prison system that I like to build is really useful for um, uh, building new stuff because you build new stuff on the outside and then you just expand into it. So that works quite nice. Uh, okay, so we will have... We'll have this as a visitation room. I'm not sure if that's how it's going to sit out, but it will. This will be our holding cell, but we'll try and get everybody out of there as quickly as possible. Uh, I think that'll be nice and big for that. Infirmary's there. We don't, are the infirmary and morgue unlisted? 
Okay, we won't need, actually because it's not listed and we need to do a bit of stuff, we won't need to build this area here. In fact, we'll probably stop building there for now. So we'll just build this section. Actually, we'll also need power, and I quite like to have the power on the outside. Uh, so writers don't get murder in the power. Uh, if, so if we have a power place like this, we're going to need to go for objects. Uh, no, utilities. So, ooh, what's a water boiler? That's your high power requires water connection. I see it makes it hot water. We're going to need hot water stuff. This doesn't need anything to go around it, although possibly now it's water boilers and pipe valves. Talks the ability, availability of water to any pipe connected to it. Okay, good. So that just turns water on and off. Um, power station needs its capacitors around it, and it's a 3x3 three three with the capacitors going up to 5. So on the old planning, if we have a 3x3 three three like that, and then a 5x5, five five, we could then have... Can we fit another one in? 3x3, three 5x5, three, five five, we have a little gap sort of there for it. Maybe an extra bit of storage or something there. And then we want to have another 5x5 five five going up like that. So, you know, I, I'm not going to fill all that with power, but... Oh, actually, we're not going to fill that power, but I could have boilers in, I suppose. I just, I'm trying to get just exactly the right sizes for everything. So if we go 5... Hang on. Let's shred you all down. So it's 5x5. Five five. That's the two uh, things. Power, power and capacitor, which I think is what we're going to need for now. Just to get the prison off with. And then... Uh, the boilers and that are three... Well, the thing is, they, they're going to have the boilers on that row here, and this can be just sort of any extra something. So we'll then we'll cap that off with a wall going across there like that. Uh, of which the door here, because there's going to be no other way of getting in and out of that, the door will just be a single open and shut door there we don't need a guard for. Uh, do we need a guard for these doors? Well, yes, because this is a direct escape route to the thingy. Uh, maybe not. Maybe these two can be kept open. What if we just build that as a wall there, and have a wall there, and then have a wall there? But this door here, because there's a guard here. Ah, there'll be a guard already here. Yeah. So there's still you still two door, two locked doors away from the thing with this one guard who patrols this area. That's what we're going to build first, and that gives us our administration buildings, and it gives us uh, power. Gives us a hot first holding cell, so we just need to build that. So we get foundation, we'll do brick. We're going to start from here, and we're going to go all the way down to this one here. 10,000 that's going to cost. Right, let's immediately jump into our utilities as well. Uh, oh, I can't see where all the walls are going to be. Ah, no, that's my plan, going across there like that. So, five with the one, and the one on the water. So that's going to be where that goes. We'll have a capacitor just sitting next to it like that. What the first water pump's going to sit right up at the back there. And this electrical cable can go shimmy out, shimmy out. Oh, when you build foundations now, there's an auto light system. So it's going to automatically place a light. So if you don't like the, the lighting the way it is, you can just ignore it. Uh, and turn that off and then put the lights down manually. I also quickly need to build the large jail doors. Front and back. Uh, and that'll hold all them in place. Did I just close that foundation down by right-clicking on it? I did. What a moron. There we go. Ah, that doesn't cost as much this time. Escapes the button I want to press. Uh, right, we actually want to go to utilities. We want to get this electrical cable. And basically, from the middle, I'd say. Actually, not from the middle, because that's going to go down that wall. Uh, we're going to want it to go down from here. Pretty much down like that. Have a little bit to get into that room there. Not necessary yet, because we've not built this area, but I dragged it too fast to script. I don't know if that's going to go through the doors. That's definitely not going to go into this room. So we'll just have a little extension up. Yeah, a little extension up there and a little extension up there. So that should all get lit up and electrified. We've got power. Uh, we're generating power. That's all being built now. It is now half past two on the first day. 13 degrees C. Uh, right. Now let's plan. So the holding cells here, we now need to... Oh, we need to do some stuff, don't we? Right. Well, yeah, see you later. Do these things here. Uh, accept your first grant. That's a good idea. Let's go to reports and let's go to grants. Uh, basic day intention center. So that means we get two. We get twenty thousand up front, which is nice. Go to build a holding cell. Tick shower. No yard. No kitchen. No canteen. No hire at least two guards. No hire at least two cooks. So we've got a lot to do with that one. Administration center. Uh, build two offices. Yes. Hire a warden. Yes. Un unlock finance through bureaucracy. Yes. And hire an accountant. Yes. That one's easy to do. Doesn't pay out as much. Medical ward. We're not doing yet. And then staff room. Didn't know building a staff room. Maybe that should be a staff room. And then we have the medical thing further. You know what? 
You can take two of these at a time, I believe. So we're going to go through those two, which gives us a nice kick of money. And then we've got something to work towards. In 17 hours, our first prisoners arrive. Um, so we've got to set our daily intake. So it can be closed so we don't take egg, don't take things. Fuel capacity. Take as many prisoners as possible from available intake pools. Uh, in order for your prisoner capacity. That's quite new. They normally just were a lot, a lot easier for this. Maximum security is closed off for now. I think that's absolutely fine. I don't want to deal with maximum security. Minimum security is okay. It's just they don't pay out as much. Uh, total prisoners you want in your prison... Uh, we set a total number per day. We set a number and then just all available. I think for now we're going to take all available. Oh! There is our foundation. Right, we now have to need to get building of brick walls. Nice to have a bit of brick going on in there like that. I can't remember if you need to build the walls for the doors or not. So we'll build the uh, walls and then we'll build doors. And if that doesn't work, we'll build a few more walls and then a few more doors. That goes up there like that. There's a few lights here that aren't being hit. Well, they're not on for some reason. I don't know why, so that's all what we need there. Uh, in objects, regular little door for the maintenance thing can go there like that. We've got a door there, a door there, a door there, and a door there. That doesn't need to be built yet. We've got large jail doors to go there, 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 and there. With another two there and there. And that is... All the things we need to build for now. These are going to stay open. These large jail doors are going to stay open until we get some prisoners in. Uh, so I don't need to lock them open just yet. But when the prisoners start coming in, I will do if I'm doing maintenance work here. But really hope I'm not at that point. Really want to be done at that point with the whole issue thing. Love that these doors slide open still. Kind of thought the game would get a UI upgrade before it came out properly. I mean, it's fine. I'm absolutely used to it. And I'd be quite, it'd be quite weird if that it looked different. But it's strange. Ah, that just means they've not been installed yet. Hmm. You can uh, control the left click to make high priority. That's nice. Um, right, you apparently... Hang on, utilities... I, have they just not put those lights? Oh, they just not put those lights. Oh, that needs electricity. Oh, my bad. Let's build it into the plug where it wants to be. Like that. And then, uh... Now let's control click... Make high priority. I wonder if something now runs to that. I'm going to say, yes, that guy. So that means that somebody queued that one immediately. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, we need some bins, don't we? Uh, where's the bins? Yeah, having some bins in the garbage thing. Always find to be quite nice. They're not necessary. I mean, you're supposed to have them in other places. I don't have them there, so stuff run rampant. Right, okay, so we now need to have our... Offices all set up. There's our offices. There's our offices. Currently, we're missing office desks, chairs, and filing cabinets, uh, which is all being highlighted for us there. So we need an office chair in the middle. Yep. That's not a chair, is it? It's a desk. Yeah, it's got a computer on it and everything. Uh, filing cabinets off to the side. So I don't think these actually do anything. I just think the things you need. Yeah. Don't think they do anything. And then a chair, that side, that side, that side, and that side. And that is everything that they need to be offices. This wall will be destroyed when we extend that thingy out. In they come. Doop -doop 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 -doop. Marvellous. Keep going. Other two. And then chairs will mean that we've got some offices. So we now need to hire a warden. So staff, warden, warden. Na 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 na, he's in his office. We now need to go to bureaucracy, which is somewhere in here. We've got the regime now, so we can choose uh, what everyone's doing. We've got uh, programs we can set up. We're not going to do that yet, though, because we don't really need that right now. And where the hell is prison grade in my menu? Bureaucracy, it's over there. Oh, this has been changed up nicely. So we need finance. Uh, we get the financial reports for our prison. Spend more money each day during income and all the hours. You can have funds in reserve. Local administration requires an office. Is that the one we need to get? Finance and then hire her. So that's going to take six hours to get that one done. Uh, six in-game hours. This I don't know if we need to do anything with. These are fine. So this one here is going to be a holding cell. I'll be there like that. I'm not going to set visitation because it's not currently set up. I... 
might set this as a storage, just so people throw things in it while we're not using it. I just don't like it looking blank. Um, we can always change the floors if need be. So the holding cell needs toilets and benches. Now, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's be ever so slightly nice. Let's build a little brick wall across there like that. So we have a bit of privacy on the old toilet. Uh, and then we can have a toilet. We'll hide there like that. There we go. We'll have it. And one facing it. No. Uh, but <laughs> don't wanna, I don't want to be. I don't want to. I don't want to make that kind of prison. There we go. So toilets and benches. You don't need a huge amount. But we're going to have a little spot of privacy there. Because I'm nice. A little darkened toilet thing. Yeah, I'm nice. You know. I mean, these are prisoners, but whatever. Uh, so that needs a bit of the old piping. I like to run pipes next to... That should be good enough. Oh, we'll run a small pipe off him. Just on the safe side. I like to run pipes next to the electricity. I don't know why, I just fancy it. It's just, it, just looks, it just looks neat when they're sort of together like that. So we'll build electricity out. So that's going to come up to the next bit of the prison. I've always got to try and remember to build that. There are no canteens accessible by the cell. Prisoners' cell will have nowhere to eat. I'm working on it. I am working on it. So we've got the holding shower. We need showers, yards, and all that sort of thing. I kind of like it when you get individual showers, like in your own cell. That's a pretty neat thing to do. Um, okay, if we say that the yard is going to be this, you come into the yard and then everything else is going to build off this. We can have everything sort of round it. Well, I'm not entirely sure on that capacitor. Okay, we might hit the limit of that pretty Pretty sharpish, actually. That's that not done yet, because they're still building the pipe. Laying down some pipe as we go. Hey, a Polaroid! I found 50 of 177. Cool, sometimes they drop Polaroids and you see pictures of things. Yep. Uh, the <laughs> for whatever, whatever purpose, that saw fit. Uh, let's, while well, I'm just waiting a little second, I'm going to stick down some... Oh, let's put down road. Put down some paving stone. Just outside like that. Just for just so the entrance has got a bit of entrance to it. And uh, I could remove tunnels if I wanted to. That's nice. We can change the uh, the floors in these places. We can make it a bit nicer. For now, I don't think we're going to. I might have a wooden floor and that sort of thing on there. But for now, we're not going to do that. We do need to work out where we're going to build... Oh, it's getting orangey. Where we're going to build our shower yard, kitchen, canteen. I think the kitchen and canteen sort of being central is useful, but I like to have smaller kitchen canteens. We also need to work out how the canteens are going to be stocked because they need to have food uh, needs to get to them. And then that food needs to go through the thing. Mm. So this is this is always one of the other problems you got. I mean, we could always just have workmen coming back and forth through this main door here because, you know, this isn't going to be an area that um, people are allowed in. But, I mean, we could also run it round the back. So we have sort of a kitchen that build, does all the food and stuff nice and easy. And then we have a double locked door situation with a guard off to the side that goes into the kitchen. I like that idea, so we're going to do that. Let's plan it out. Uh, so if we say that it's going to be... I did say I was going to centralise it, but I've also decided to ignore that plan. So if we have a nice big sort of kitchen... You know, the kitchen needs to be pretty substantial, actually. I do want this entrance to be in part of the kitchen. I do prefer smaller kitchens because there's less chance of horrific rioting. What do we want? What do we want to come out to? Right, let's explain. What do we want to come out to? Well, this bit should be the yard. Well, not that big, but we should have you know a big open area with preferably more floating star buildings with a big wall. But what if the yard's just sitting in the middle of a big set of buildings that comes off over here? Okay, but then we're going to have to build this wall as we go. Um, okay. So we make... Okay. No, I think we can do this. We have the kitchen actually divided slightly differently to as I was planning. So we have the kitchen is this side. Comes off of the power supply and it has a door down here. And then up here, there's no door or anything. What we have instead is a double locked door situation where people go in. Now, I know you can set prisoners to work in the kitchen, 
but we'll worry about that later. Uh, I, don't, I don't really want to. You know, I don't. I just don't really want to do things. And then, so we have a guard who permanently sits here, and this guard just lets the stuff go between the kitchen and the canteen, which I think is going to need to be a bit bigger, just to fit everyone in it for now. Uh, how big are that? Let's just actually let's plan everything out proper. Let's plan it all out proper. Um. Road gates. Oh, I like road gates. I thought you could build those. You can build proper thing. Like, you can actually have it like a, a completely locked off area. Oh, shit. That'd be like triple gating it. Oh, man. When that's built, I'm going to road gate the shit out of this place. Um, we need... Oh, does that highlight it? Only when it's showing off the things that the things need. Ah! Oh, did it add stuff as well? I think it's added stuff. Ah! Interesting. What was I saying? Yeah, so kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen stuff. Uh, it's not going to give us kitchen stuff. And this plan has failed considerably, considering... Hang on, can we just search for, like, sink? Sink. Marvellous. Right. So the sink is that thick. Or we can run it down the side there. What if we have... Uh, oh, crap. Objects. Ah! Oh, what have I done? Oh, you can see everything by doing that. Oh, okie dokie. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I mean, some things are locked off, but that's definitely a way of showing all the things we can get. Like, serving tables! Right, so we definitely want to have two serving tables along the back. So if we have a serving table there, and then a serving table there, so that needs to be one bigger to get both of those serving tables in. Uh, the fridges, we can fit two, 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 with the cookers of two, 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 two. So we can have a fair few cookers and fridges. Um, or we could even three it up, I suppose, go all the way along. Oh. What if we built this one more over, and then that one more over? Then we could get three in there quite comfortably. Yes. Okay, so this is going to go walls. Wait, hang on, let's do just the kitchen first. So the kitchen needs to go one over there like that. And then this needs to go now two over there like that. I think that's right. Uh, that's not right. Is that right? Yeah, it's extended it. So then that goes there, that goes there, that becomes a wall... We don't worry about that. Three. That's just my guard's path. That's, I, don't know. I was just redrawing. I was like, what have I done? Yeah, it's guard's path. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. No, that's definitely not right. That's definitely not right. Uh, oh, visitor booths. We can actually see what visitor booths look like. Ah, you see, they do the thing. So they are... I've not built that thick enough. <laughs> that's going to have to extend out. So that's going to have to pop out a little bit. We'll just add that on in a second. But then I now know that, that I did that semi right so uh well, we could always i mean we could always have the door on that side draw the line down there and then it's perfect i think wait one two one two one two one two fuck. there <laughs> well we get more in that way and then we don't have to do anything else so they do fit how i think they do okay so that needs to be dismantled that stays where it is we need uh oh do we need we don't even need a brick wall do we? we need a brick wall sort of one bump there Okay, that's all we need to fix that problem. Uh, okay, and I was looking for... This is a problem we're doing several things at once. Serving tables, are they five long? One, two... Yeah, they're five long, so yeah, no, I didn't build this over far enough. So that wall needs to go out one like that. And now it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, nice and neat. And then one, two, one, two, one, two. Yep, yeah, so we can fit them all along there and maybe have a sink at the bottom or something. I could always build that up and then have a sink section there. There's no reason to build just down like that. We could have a sink sort of thing in there or maybe some more things. But just have that little doorway there to get the food to the, the people faster without uh, having any delay of it coming in. Neat. No, I think that I think that works well. Uh, and then the deliveries... Well, maybe we want a more of a... a well, we could have a dedicated storage area that sits at the top here. Like... That becomes a storage area. Hang on. No, we'll need that. That oh, Actually, I want the door that side. So that becomes a storage area. So then you go into the thingy. Oh, do we want to... Oh, I mean, that just feels like it's going just a bit too far around. When they could just... They will just be end up carrying it all through. But we do need a storage area. And we'll, then we can... From there, we can build the road gate going across there. And then whatever wall we need on that side. Whoops. Uh, whatever wall that side needs going down there. And then over there, and then a road gate. Pow! We've got a nice and secured area. We've got a kitchen there. And uh, it's coming up to midnight. And uh, we haven't got anything for the prisoners that are turning up. 
in 8 hours, 43 minutes. 42 minutes. 41 minutes. Oh dear. The Nerd Cube! The Nerd Cube! Ah! The Nerd Who? The Nerd Cube!